The Arch of Galerius and the Rotunda are neighboring early 4th century monuments in the city of Thessaloniki, in the region of central Macedonia in northern Greece. The Rotunda is also known as the Church of Ias Georgios or the Rotunda of St. George. History the 4th century Roman Emperor Galerius commissioned these two structures as elements of an imperial precinct linked to his Thessaloniki palace. Archaeologists have found substantial remains of the palace to the southwest. These three monumental structures were connected by a road that ran through the arch, which rose above the major east-west road of the city, at the crux of the major axes of the city. The Arch of Galerius emphasized the power of the emperor and linked the monumental structures with the fabric of 4th century Thessaloniki. The arch was composed of a masonry core faced with marble sculptural panels celebrating a victory over the Sassanid Persians. About two-thirds the arch is preserved. The rotunda was a massive circular structure with a masonry core that had an oculus like the Pantheon in Rome. It has gone through multiple periods of use and modification as a polytheist temple, a Christian basilica, a Muslim mosque, and again a Christian church. A minaret is preserved from its use as a mosque, and ancient remains are exposed on its southern side. Location and description of the arch Arch of Galerius stands on what is now Ignatia and Demetrios Gonari Street. The arch was built in 298-299 AD and dedicated in 303 AD to celebrate the victory of the Tetrarch Galerius over the Sassanid Persians and capture of their capital CTE Siphon in 298. The structure was an octopilon forming a triple arch that was built of a rubble masonry core faced first with brick and then with marble panels with sculptural relief. The central arch opening was 9.7 meters wide and 12.5 meters high, and the secondary openings on other side were 4.8 meters wide and 6.5 meters high. The central arch spanned the portion of the Via Ignatia that passed through the city as a decumanus. A road connecting the rotunda with the palace complex passed through the arch along its long axis. Only the northwestern three of the eight pillars and parts of the masonry cores of the arches above survive, i.e., the entire eastern side and the southernmost one of the western pillars are lost. Extensive consolidation with modern brick has been performed on the exposed masonry cores to protect the monument. The two pillars flanking the central arched passageway retain their sculpted marble slabs which depict the wars of Galerius against the Persians in broadly panegyric terms. Sculptural program of the arch Understanding of the sculptural program of the arch is limited by the loss of the majority of the marble panels, but the remains give an impression of the whole. Four vertically stacked registers of sculpted decoration were carved on each pillar, each separated by elaborate moldings. A label for the Tigris River indicates that there were likely labels on other representations as the builders deemed necessary. Artistic license was taken in the representations, for instance. The Caesar Galerius is shown in personal combat with the Sassanid Shah Nasses in one of the panels, although they never met in battle. On the arch, a mounted Galerius attacks a similarly mounted Nasses with a lance as an eagle bearing a victory wreath in its talons approaches. Galerius the Caesar sits securely on his rearing horse while the Persian king appears nearly unhorsed. Terrified Persians cower under the hooves of the Caesar's horse in the chaos of battle. The panel expresses the power of the Caesar Galerius. The relief of the imperial family conjoined in a sacrifice of thanksgiving owes its distant prototype to the Augustan reliefs on the Arapasis in Rome. Galerius, a wife, Diocletian's daughter Valeria, is shown at his side, helping authenticate his connection to his predecessor. Here as elsewhere all the faces have been carefully chiseled off whether as damnation memoria or in later cultural intolerance of images. In another panel, the Tetrics are all arrayed in the toga as a Victoria holds a victory wreath out to the heads of the two Augusta. A third panel celebrates the unity of the Tetrarchy.
With a depiction of the Tetrix standing together, the depersonalized manner in which the Tetrix are portrayed is reminiscent of the schematic statues of the Tetrix in Porphyry at St. Mark's Basilica in Venice. Only Galerius is dressed in armor, and he makes the offering upon the altar. What remains of the arch asserts the glory of the Tetrarchy and the prominence of Galerius within that system. The arch celebrates the Roman Empire as a part of Galerius' victory over the Sassanid king. On the right pictured, is Galerius on his horse in an attack on a Sassanid guard. Rotunda of Galerius Location and description of the rotunda The rotunda of Galerius is 125 meters northeast of the Arch of Galerius at 40 degrees 37 minutes 59.77 seconds north, 22 degrees 57 minutes 9.77 seconds east. It is also known as the Greek Orthodox Church of Ios Georgios, and is informally called the Church of the Rotunda. The cylindrical structure was built in 306 AD on the orders of the Tetrarch Galerius, who was thought to have intended it to be his mausoleum. It was more likely intended as a temple, it is not known to what god it would have been dedicated. The rotunda has a diameter of 24.5 meters. Its walls are more than 6 meters thick, which is why it has withstood Thessaloniki's earthquakes. The walls are interrupted by eight rectangular bays, with the south bay forming the entrance. A flat brick dome, 30 meters high at the peak, crowns the cylindrical structure. In its original design, the dome of the rotunda had an oculus, as does the Pantheon in Rome. Uses of the rotunda after Galerius's death in 311, he was buried at Gamzigrad near Zajkar, Serbia. The rotunda stood empty for several years until the Emperor Constantine I ordered it converted into a Christian church in 326. The church was embellished with very high-quality mosaics. Only fragments have survived of the original decoration, for example, a band depicting saints with hands raised in prayer, in front of complex architectural fantasies. The building was used as a church for over 1,200 years until the city fell to the Ottomans. In 1590 it was converted into a mosque, called the Mosque of Suleiman Hortaji Fnd, and a minaret was added to the structure. It was used as a mosque until 1912, when the Greeks captured the city during the Balkan War. Greek Orthodox officials re-consecrated the structure as a church, and they left the minaret. The structure was damaged during an earthquake in 1978 but was subsequently restored. As of 2004, update, the Manarath was still being stabilized with scaffolding. The building is now a historical monument under the F or A of Byzantine antiquities of the Greek Ministry of Culture. Although the Greek Orthodox Church has access to the church for various festivities, the rotunda is the oldest of Thessaloniki's churches. Some Greek publications claim it is the oldest Christian church in the world, although there are competitors for that title. It is the most important surviving example of a church from the early Christian period of the Greek-speaking part of the Roman Empire.